Alright, now that we're done with that um, kind of gruesome, grotesque theme, we can uh, start working our way towards Deathwing's lair. Well, the real Orox chamber. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we were here already. That's right. Weren't we? Yeah, no, I guess we were. Oh, I guess, I guess it's just the same way in both, way both rooms. I keep accidentally using that super move. Kind of annoying. Don't think there's anything here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Grab the teleporter, definitely. And, uh... Yeah, you can... I mean, it's hard because Biezobub was a tough... Little tough cookie. But the Dracula's Curse people that I just fought in a couple of CM last time? I mean, they were doing one damage to me. Like, I just, that's what I don't get. The problem with this game with leveling and scaling is that it's either they do one damage to you or they start doing, like, like actual decent damage to you. And same way, it's it's vice versa. It goes both ways. Bi-directional. And, uh... It... I don't know. But what I like about this, though, is that now that the spikes are on the ceiling as a decoration in Ulrock's quarters, now it's actually a hazard in the inverse. That I do like. Even though it doesn't really hurt too bad. Although, it's, nothing to, yeah, it's not great, though. What's inside those candles, man? Oof! Okay, it hurts pretty damn fucking bad. 67 damage is nothing to laugh about, man. Got plenty of gems. Don't think I need them. I'm gonna buy elixirs, I guess, when I get towards the end of the game. I'm gonna need them for uh, oh, what's coming up, the ultimate boss battle. That's all right, I'm still talking about it. What could I be talking about? Hmm. Now this is cool. The clock tower boss as a uh, regular enemy. I love when they do that. It just makes you like feel like, what? Like, wow, this is crazy. And there's two of them. But pretty pathetic now that we're stronger. I know my brother appreciates that stuff. We, can, we share that common uh, ground a lot. We share a lot of our uh, ways of how we like video games uh, a lot like that. But uh, we don't want to go there yet. I think that's where uh, the boss lurks. So let's uh, check up here. Into here, yes. What, flying zombie? I don't remember these enemies. Are they still alive? Wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty uh, intense enemies here. Yeah, they're kind of strong. Another thing, another Castlevania trick that's like present in every single Castlevania is the jump cancel attack, where you can get two attacks in quick by doing a tack tack as soon as you land on the ground. Super useful, especially when you have a slow weapon. Nice. Oh, nice. I love that. It gives you all your hit points back, too. My hit points are so weird. Max hit points are just like an odd number. It's always strange to me. So now there should be the Sword Brothers. Yeah, this is where the Sword Brothers Relic was. Now what it is in... Oh! Heart Refresh. A max heart. Very good if you have, like, zero hearts and you're in a boss battle. But we probably won't use it too much. Or ever. And this will warp back to the... This is the chapel. Wait, wait? I don't know. Yeah. And it's not even blocked. Which is cool. Like you could have, I could have got here at the very beginning when we first got to the anti-chapel, but... Knowing me, I like to do my routes specially like that. I kind of did it in the way that the difficulty rises, but I think the... Uh, certainly the... Necromancy Lab was actually pretty tough. But yeah, uh, huh. and I'm still on that, while well, I'm walking back here, um, you ever get someone complaining about, like, how you should, how your, how your content is, in terms of your, how much you talk, you're talking too much, substitute this, and it's very, very insistent and very rude, just think, if they are, if they are not giving you any sort of restitution in terms of payment, I would say, fuck them, <laughs> do this for yourself, always do this for yourself, always, I mean, that's, I don't know. I mean, this entire hobby is completely narcissistic uh, at its source, and there's no way around that. Totally. I mean, like... But you gotta do it for yourself and enjoy yourself, and enjoy what you do, and have fun editing and do all that stuff. That's why I do it. I love editing. It's fun to do. So...
You know, fucking public service announcement part two, the reckoning. And you can actually chain the uh, bat smasher attack um, by re-inputting the command, but you're gonna do it while you're uh, still dashing. So it's kind of like a hidden trigger that you're actually doing it right. Oh, another piece. This is uh, what the last piece? No, the second to last piece of the Alucard set. Alucard's mail. Oh man, that's gonna destroy the fury plate. Oh, look at that. Resist all the resist the elements: fire, lightning, and ice. Plus an extra seven defense. Considering that my defense is thirty and I have all this crazy gear, uh, having that much defense is a big number. So that's awesome, man. Screw the uh, fury armor. I don't care about it decreasing when I get hurt. I want it to decrease permanently all the time. All right, time to fight the boss. I think, yeah. Alright. Yep, here we go. <sighs> Somehow I'm not too worried. <laughs> oh, gotta get that. It's a freaking item it's not, I'm not gonna use. Haven't used a dog in a while, figured that was appropriate. Could have missed it, could have batted it, could have. That's it. Special door again. Here we go! Yeah, I'm not really sure why they decided to make this guy a complete joke. <laughs> it's probably the easy, one of the easiest bosses in the game. But we get the Rib of Vlad, and that is a Constitution plus 10. We need one more treasure, and I know who to find. I know who's left that we need to get. I know where it is. Once we have all the organs, we can um, get to the final confrontation. But we still have a little bit of uh, loose ends to tie up, and it's a pretty damn loose end. <laughs> Constitution plus at 10, though, means extra 4 defense, and that's fantastic. So, uh, much appreciated. What's cool is that you don't have to clear that map up there, but you can actually unlock some extra stuff after you beat the game with certain map percentages. I think you need 180% to uh, get something. Um, the highest map percentage you can get is 10%, or, yeah, 200%, meaning, you know, both castles. Alright, so I'm not sure why the hell that guy protected an organ, <laughs> but, I mean, oh, and he also got his own death animation, but he's a famous, he's a famous mummy, he's a, he's a mummy from uh, previous Castlevanias, the old school one, so, I guess I'll let it slide. Alright, so, um, we, uh, did halfway of the, we did pretty much the majority of, uh, the underground caverns, but now we need to get to the reverse abandoned mines, and, uh, from that, we need to go to the Reverse Catacombs, which uh, actually has a different name. And it's my favorite area of the Inverse, just for the uh, specialness of it. You'll see. Oh god, I'm still worried about it. <laughs> so I hope I got your hype whistles, your hype, your hype, uh, your hype, what, mouth? What? <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna tell him I'm talking about. I'm just quiet now. Alright. So, yeah, we are going to head to the Abandoned Mine. I... I think we'll just keep this stuff in for my transversal to the abandoned mine, which is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to, uh, I think, yeah, we'll just go to the entrance and go that way. Yes. So I will see you at the underground caverns. Okay. Time to head to the abandoned mines. We're uh, done with the underground bullcrap. And uh, we're going to head straight to... Uh, the waterfall go uh, I guess down in this case <laughs> always is strange to think about He's wrecking everything with his wee hander although I would mind the another one-handed weapon that was stronger <laughs> so let's go down pretty cool Ooh. Yeah. 
All right, so luckily we don't have to do any uh, weird uh, skeleton gorilla uh, push it down crap. But he's got suck. Does God is Jesus Christ, dude! Come on, fuck off! Wow! All right, you know what? Fucking do that shit. <laughs> I like that. Fuck off. An annoying enemy. Oh wait, what do we do? Uh, do we need the? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why that was. That was weird. I actually cannot explain that one. Let's do it. Finally, the same type of music. Hey, I know you. You're probably not really dangerous anymore. <laughs> yep. Not dangerous. So this is interesting. We got uh, Slogra and Gavin, the uh, new it, the um, original boss, first boss. So uh, I don't know what type of service we're gonna fight this time. It's probably not gonna be pretty though. Before we do that. Okay, let's get that last organ. Oh, but first, Slogger. Sorry guys, you got two hit points. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What do we got? So, you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness! Not while there's a breath in my body. Then for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Eye of Lad, and death is taken care of once and for all. Funny enough, his first form's harder. <laughs> Boy, his voice acting's horrible. So what do we got? What's the Eye of Lad? Luck plus 10. Okay, kind of useless now, but we have all the relics but one. And I don't know what it is. It's probably something for the mist. Skill of mist, maybe? Yeah, I missed it. It's a skill of mist. It's a poison mist. So I hurt enemies very gen uh, very, uh, very slowly with um, the mist. I, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Dak, I uh, can't even think. So maybe I'll grab it before I leave just so I have all the relics. Maybe I won't because it's not really needed. So annoying, man. Aerial, aerial recoil like that. Aerial hit stun is so annoying. It's in every single Castlevania game. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it'd be pretty imbalanced if it wasn't, I admit, but still. Oh, we need this guy to push this button again. This time I don't think we'll get another, we won't get a ring of 24 or whatever it was called. Uh, double card, demon card. 
I'm ready to serve, Master. Yeah, that's great. Push the button. Oh. Hmm. This switch hasn't been pressed yet. Thanks, buddy. I kind of find it funny that I think I'm pretty sure that was a different dialogue than the first time. I think that's a very interesting uh, addition they put on there. What level is my familiar anyway? Level 30, not bad. You like that? Bat power, man. Don't know where this is leading to. Something that's good. No, it'd be right here. Yeah, it better be good. Eh, another power of sire. Okay, it wasn't worth it at all, but it's okay. It's all right. So now we've got. That's it. The abandoned mines are pretty much done. I mean, there's a few other rooms. I guess could have something instead of Salem witches, but uh. We're uh, getting to the part I've been dreading, but also excited for. It's the uh, inverse catacombs. And, uh, let me just say, wow, bats. Bats are a little bit less dangerous, but they're positioned in such a way that it's annoying. I don't know. Kind of seems like a lazy bit of uh, implementation to me. Implementation. Implementation. At least they gave uh, this music back. That's kind of nice of them. Instead of the some other like Final Takata again. Hey, Alucard Sword. There it is. Death hit it all the way into his lair. So what do we got? Alucard Sword. It is stronger than the Zweehander. <laughs> Zweehander. It is stronger. Plus we can put on the Alucard's shield that gave him more defense. Look at it, man. Remember this? The blue guy, and it's fast as shit. Plus, you got that super move right there. Crazy, man. Look at it! That's the sword we want. Pretty much our uh, strongest sword we're gonna get. That I'm gonna uh, actually actively accept to get, I guess I should say. Man, I forgot how quick it was. Like, you forget how amazing you were when you first start the game, because I had the same equipment now. It's kind of funny how that worked. Alright! This map's looking pretty crazy, so we're going to the very tippy top of this upside down castle, and uh, eh, it needs a part in itself. We are not going to the inverse catacombs. Oh, grapes, thank goodness for that. No, we are not going to the inverse catacombs. We're going to a uh, much more sinister place. We're going to a place where uh, hell has taken form. At the very top of uh, this chaotic creature. So where are we going instead, you may ask? And it's just not the, the catacombs where we fought Gramphaloon, the Legion? Well, we'll have to find out next time, but it's going to be intense.